Your body lets you know every day, in a variety of ways, that it is alive and well. One such way is the familiar growl of your stomach, which, to most of us, signals hunger. But, are all those rumbles and noises actually coming from your stomach? Are they really a sign you need to eat? The answer to both questions is a resounding no. I'll take this opportunity to remind you about what's really going on when you feel and hear a rumble in your belly. You may not realize stomach growling actually originates as muscular activity in both your stomach and your small intestine. To better understand what causes it, let's take a closer look at how your body digests the foods and beverages you consume. As you probably know, one of the primary components of your digestive system is a long hollow tube called the esophagus, which runs from the back of your mouth all the way to your anus. Your esophagus connects with all of your various organs along your gastrointestinal tract, such as your gallbladder, liver, pancreas and stomach as well as your small and large intestines, also referred to as your bowels. The walls of your esophagus are primarily composed of layers of smooth muscle, which are squeezed and contracted as a means of digesting and propelling food through your body. This process is called peristalsis. As peristalsis does its work, the food and beverages you consume are steadily being moved along from your stomach to your anus. Along the way, they are being mixed with a variety of digestive juices. These juices help your body transform liquids and solids into a gooey mixture known as chyme. Now, this is where the growling noises factor into the process. The funny noises and rumbling sounds you experience are not hunger pangs, they are caused by packets of trapped air and gases that are compressed as your body churns food particles and chime through your digestive system. Typically, stomach growling is no cause for concern. About stomach growling, the International Foundation for Functional Gastrointestinal Disorders says one you may be surprised to know that growling sums can happen at any time, not just when you're hungry or when your digestive system is relatively empty. Sometimes the noises are less noticeable because the presence of food in your body can help somewhat to muffle their sound as well as lessen their intensity. Because digestion is an ongoing process, your stomach sends signals to your brain approximately two hours after you eat to start up the peristalsis contractions again. As reported by Scientific American, Professor Mark Andrews, a specialist in physiology and biophysics at Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, explains what happens next, noting that these contractions generally subside after you eat, too If you have ever experienced diarrhea, you are already familiar with what is meant by hyperactive bowel sounds As a refresher, hyperactive bowel sounds are characterized by the combination of various malabsorption states can also result in exaggerated bowel sounds.
two of the main ones that received considerable attention are three according to Healthline for a very serious instance involving hyperactive bowel sums takes place when you have an intestinal obstruction. Obstructions can be partial or total, preventing the passage of food and liquids. They are characterized by increased contractions that attempt to force air, liquids, and solids through a narrowing of your intestine. As such, obstructions produce unusually loud, often high pitched, sounds. Those sounds are caused by the buildup of food, fluids, gas and gastric acids behind the site of the blockage. Most obstructions are characterized by symptoms such as abdominal swelling, constipation, nausea and vomiting. Intestinal blockages are considered to be an emergency situation because your intestine could rupture under such intense pressure, causing harmful bacteria and waste products to leak into your abdominal cavity. Given that it is a life-threatening illness that cannot be prevented, immediate diagnosis and treatment of an intestinal blockage is crucial to your survival. There are a few situations in which it is normal for your intestines to be quiet, including that said, a complete absence of intestinal sums that occurs during an attack of severe abdominal pain could be an indication of a serious intra-abdominal event. Point five. If so, you should treat it as an emergency, one that may require surgery and get to your nearest hospital immediately. Unless the sounds your stomach and small intestine are making are accompanied by diarrhea, abdominal pain or other symptoms, they are probably normal. Yeah. That said, it is also important to note stomach rumbling is different from, and unrelated to, other gassy phenomena such as belching, bloating and flatulence. While any, or all, of these may occur in the same person, they are causally unrelated. If you feel your bowel sounds are abnormally loud, or if they are causing you anxiety or embarrassment, be sure to discuss your concerns with your doctor. While there is nothing you can or need to do to curtail your body's digestive noises, you can take proactive steps to prevent the more serious intestinal issue. By far, your best defense against intestinal problems is to optimize your gut microbiome. One of the best and least expensive ways to do so is to begin by eliminating sugar and processed foods from your diet while adding a variety of fermented foods. The beneficial bacteria in fermented foods will aid your digestion and provide detoxification support. Consuming a variety of fermented foods and beverages is important because each food will inoculate your gut with a mix of different microorganisms. As such, your digestive tract will be stronger and more resilient against bacteria and other toxic invaders. Fortunately, with a little time and effort, you can cultivate fermented foods at home.
While there are several options, two of the easiest and most popular types are for step-by-step -step instructions on how to ferment vegetables, check out my video below. While you can purchase these items in a grocery store, you will get a higher quality product by culturing your own. Making your fermented foods and beverages at home also gives you total control and knowledge of the ingredients contained in each one. If, for whatever reason, fermented foods are not an option for you, consider taking a daily probiotic supplement. Probiotics are supplements designed to increase your beneficial bacteria, the largest concentration of which is found in your gut. By supporting the health-promoting bacteria in your body, probiotics help keep harmful microbes in check. If you recently have taken or currently are taking an antibiotic, be sure to also take a probiotic to repopulate your gut with healthy bacteria. This is necessary because most antibiotics kill not only the target organism that might be causing your infection, which is a good thing, but also your beneficial bacteria. Keep in mind that many prescribed antibiotics are unnecessary and may inflict more harm than good. As such, I recommend you carefully weigh your options before taking them. Given the risks of antibiotic resistance, be selective and, if possible, restrict antibiotic use to only the medical situations that mandate the use of them. Learn more about the value and use of probiotics through my interview with Greg Lear, Chief Scientific Officer of US Laboratories, a probiotic dedicated manufacturer. For sure, your body will continue to make growling noises. Whenever you feel and hear that familiar rumble, let it remind you that you have a human form that is intricately made and wonderfully complex. Unless the growling sounds are bothersome or accompanied by abdominal pain or other alarming symptoms, there is little cause for concern. As always, your best defense against more serious digestive issues is to act now to proactively maintain your health.